What's going on guys, XDarnkX here. Uh, been a little while since the last video, but I promise I'd get somewhere out there for you, but time's been tough. So I just wanted to show you this ridiculous pile of First War figures, uh, statues that have been amassing at my house over the year since the uh, collection room has been closed down. But these are heading off to storage today, and I opened the most recent one up to make sure everything wasn't broken and it functioned properly, and I thought it was so badass that I want to show you guys, so... Here we go. This is, of course, Wolf Link with Midna on top. And this is the exclusive version. So let me, I'll give you a quick pan and then I'll show you the exclusive feature. I wish I had some kind of lazy Susan thing so I could spin this around. When I opened the box, I heard some rattling and I got really, really, really nervous but it was just the batteries came loose from wherever they were. I think the eyes on Wolfling came out pretty sweet. This chain's metal chain. Uh, these earrings are like little pieces of wire that can move a little bit. We see any white spots, it's not scratches. Uh, there's like pieces of foam stuck on it from the container. So, there's a little button back here, if you guys can see it. And let me show you what the exclusive version done. That's pretty badass. Uh, I, you know, in person it looks, it looks so much better than in video. And I wish I could show you guys at night, but I just don't have the time when it's dark out to make the videos, so you got to see it during the day. Now, like my Dark Link exclusive, I thought it was broken at first, but when you turn the switch off, it actually takes a few seconds for the light to turn off. So I just hit the button, and you can see it slowly fades out, which on the Dark Link is a much cooler effect, because you see the water fade out, too. So here you go. Definitely a badass statue. Um, I kind of like this quarter scale, but I'm glad the next one, Link on Opponent, is not going to be this big because it would be huge. I was lucky enough, actually, at Comic Con this year, New York Comic Con, to see the Link on Opponent statue in person. And in person, the size is perfect. It looks gorgeous. So, one of the vendors there had a prototype of it. I guess for four figures lent it to him. But yeah, this is definitely a sweet statue. I have the cards, you can authenticate it. And because I was one of the first pre-orders, they give you a, another card that's signed by the artist. I wonder what this guy looks like. He designs all the Zelda statues, I've never seen him. So, this is X Sonic X. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna try to put it back in the box the same way it was so it doesn't break. I'm super nervous about that, but we'll see what happens. Um, just a quick bit of advice, if you're like me and you bought this and you're going to end up storing it away for a while, uh, I would definitely not leave the batteries inside of it, because you don't need those batteries leaking and damaging the statue. In fact, even with my Dark Link, I ended up taking the batteries out of the package altogether and just using it for something else. So when these finally come out of storage for a new collection room, then I will get new batteries. So thanks again, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being patient with me. I'll try to get some more videos out as soon as I can. And, uh, yeah, thanks again.